Hey, what's going on everybody? It is Goalie here. Welcome back to another epic Polytopia video. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about ruins, an extremely important component in Polytopia that you need to utilize in order to win games. Let's get started. First, I'll cover the basics. Regular ruins can give five different rewards, three capital population, 10 stars, a technology, a veteran swordsman, or an explorer. Mountain ruins cannot give an explorer as a reward. This is because explorers cannot be given as a reward if all the clouds within a two-tile radius of the ruin are revealed, and moving onto the mountain does exactly this. Technically, it is possible to prevent regular ruins from giving an explorer as a reward by manually clearing clouds within a two-tile radius of the ruin, but this is generally considered inefficient. If you get a tech from a ruin, it cannot skip over other techs you haven't researched. As an example, don't expect to get mathematics from a ruin if you don't already have forestry. Deep ocean ruins will grant a warrior battleship as a reward in place of a veteran swordsman. Resources can actually generate under ruins. Once the ruin is excavated, the resources under it will become visible and harvestable as long as it's in your city borders and you have the proper tech. Now I'll talk about a bit more advanced facts and mechanics. Ruins can now generate within the borders of unclaimed villages. They previously could not. If you excavate a ruin within the borders of one of your cities and you get a swordsman, the swordsman will take up one of that city's maximum available units. Interestingly enough, if you excavate a ruin within the borders of an enemy city and get a swordsman, the swordsman will take up one of your enemy city's maximum available units, even though you control the unit. If the ruin gives a swordsman outside of any city borders, it will not count towards any city's maximum available units. Ruins can no longer generate in the immediate vision of your capital. This has some interesting use cases for Illyrion players because they can see ruins through the clouds. Here's a screenshot of a Polytopia game. Now, there's a lot going on here, so let me walk you through it. More specifically, this is an old screenshot of a 3v3 Polychampions game, a competitive Discord server for Polytopia players. Each player shared their vision with each other and used the power of photo editing to combine their vision into one screenshot. As you can see, one of the players on this team of three is playing Illyrion, so we also know the location of each ruin on the map. These are boxed in red. Now, I have overlaid an image showing where each player's capital could potentially generate on a 400 tile map. Keep in mind there are 9 potential capital spawn locations, but only 6 players in this game, so 3 will be empty. Using Illyrion's vision of the ruins, we can learn a lot about the game before it even starts. Looking at the northmost corner, we see there is a ruin within the box that shows where capitals could generate. Because ruins cannot spawn within the immediate vision of a capital, every potential spawn location for a capital here is nullified. There is a 0% chance there is an opponent located in this corner. The Illyrion player would be free to expand north into this corner and scoop up some villages. The same is also true for this southeast section of the map here. The same cannot be said for these other potential capital spawn locations. However, the tile that the capital generated on can be narrowed down thanks to knowing the ruin locations. For example, in the south corner, the capital could generate on 9 tiles, but it's reduced to only 2 tiles due to this ruin. The potential spawn locations for the capitals are boxed in purple. Finally, I have just a couple of miscellaneous facts for you. Super units used to be a reward from ruins, but this reward was changed to a veteran swordsman for balancing reasons. Unlike the super unit, which could only be awarded on turn 5 or later, you can get a veteran swordsman as a reward on any turn. Polaris cannot get warrior battleships from deep ocean ruins because they have to freeze the ruin in order to move on to it, and ice is essentially treated as land. Also, Symanti can decompose ruins in their borders using the recycling tech. It grants zero stars as a reward. I'm not sure why you'd want to do this, but the option is there. Maybe if you're going to lose the city, you can just nuke the ruin and then your enemy can't get it. Or maybe it's a bug, who knows. Well, there you have it. Everything you need to know about ruins in Polytopia. This video was made possible by the talented players of the Kraken team on Polychampions, a competitive league for Polytopia. If you're looking for some high-level gameplay, definitely check out the Polychampions Discord server. I'll link it in the description of this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe for more epic Polytopia content. If you're looking for another video to watch, check out this video where I rank each Polytopia tribe based on how good they are competitively. I'll see you in the next video. Have a spectacular day.